Good day to you. It's the Weekly Word. It's June the 8th, 2022. Pastor Bobby coming to you from, well, Pastor Bobby's backyard this morning. Bible and Pastor Bobby. It's the Weekly Word. Going to uplift inspiration and information. Let's go with the Bible portion inspiration first. It's from 1 Samuel 18. When David finished talking with Saul, Jonathan felt very close to David. He loved David as much as he loved himself. Saul kept David with him from that day on and did not let him go home to his father's house. Jonathan made an agreement with David because he loved David as much as himself. Well, um, talking about the friendship, I guess, between David and Jonathan, evidently it was very, uh, very close um, as he loved his friend, as much as he loved himself, uh, the scripture says right here about Jonathan to David. Uh, just coming off of a day and a half of hanging out with uh, two good friends, uh, Ethan and Kelly. Uh, they just departed here a couple of hours ago, and uh, we had tears and uh, we had some prayer. And uh, it was a really rich time with Tammy and myself over the last day and a half. Ethan is a friend from seminary. So that goes back, goodness gracious, uh, 40 years ago uh, we met. Oh, pretty near. It was uh, 1984 to 1988. We spent time at Wartburg Seminary together. Uh, Tammy was a part of that journey as well. And so we got to know Ethan uh, very well. Uh, we spent time together. Over the years, we've uh, made some connections. Ethan is... Uh, our son Andy's baptismal sponsor. But I have to say, over the last, uh, how long has that been now? Since 1988 till now, 98, 108, 18, uh, 34, 33, 35 years, something like that. We've probably seen each other maybe five or six times. But each and every time we see each other, there's a depth and a richness to it. Oh, we uh, kid around, we cornball, uh, we give each other a hard time. We pull up some of the, the crazy things that we did in seminary, uh, some of the, the idiotic things we might have even uh, did in class. Uh, yeah, seminary can be fun too. Uh, relationships are a big part of that. And though we haven't seen each other in long spells of time uh, in these last 30 some odd years, each and every time we do get together, even though it maybe just be a, a day and a half, uh, there's a closeness that's experienced. And that's done through conversation, uh, with food, uh, joking with one another, being serious uh, about some uh, challenges, not just in ministry, but in uh, personal life and family and, and that type of thing. You know, there's nothing like a, a really good friend and um, one in which you can pick up things after not being together for a decade. I think it's been 10 years since we we saw, we saw each other last, uh, but just uh, an amazing connection uh, and, and you just, just feel it, just know it. And it's a, a filling up of, of one's cup. It's a, uh, a being able to, to be refreshed and restored in a relational way so that you can go about pouring out relationship and ministry and and love and hope on, on others as well down the line. The encouragement today is, is, is I hope and I pray that you uh, have a connection with not just a friend, but with a Christian friend. I think that is uh, one of the things that, that marks Ethan and my relationship, uh, brothers in Christ. Of course, uh, we're, we're good friends and and all the, the fun and activities that we can engage in. But uh, it's uh, the connection is, is in Christ. And there's some things that can be said. And uh, there, there's some support that can be received on a very different level when we're talking about a spiritual relationship or, or a relationship, friendship in and with and through Christ. My encouragement to you is, is to discover, uh, find, pursue uh, such a Christian friend relationship, if you don't have one, um, 
encourage it at, uh, at your church, wherever that may be, maybe through small groups, through Sunday school, through a uh, women's Bible study, men's Bible study. Find a connection uh, with someone who is of the faith, someone who can, can uh, have you in heart and mind in prayer, uh, someone who can lean into you and you lean into that particular person. But it's a, a relationship beyond just a uh, earthly, physical, human relationship. Uh, it feels different. And uh, just celebrating their presence here and now their departure, I'm a little sad about that, but also just a thrill that we were able to spend 36 hours uh, together eating and drinking and pouring into one another so that we may continue to pour out as we journey yet here in this life. So may, may God and His Holy Spirit lead you to find such connections and people uh, where again, you may be fed for the journey. It's in Christ Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty God, we thank you for friends, friends in Christ, brothers and sisters who, with whom we can lean into one another to uh, challenge, but also to support and to encourage. And so, uh, Lord, uh, uh, do thank you this day for Kelly and for Ethan. Pray for your blessings in their travels uh, back to a, a northern state. Uh, pray, O oh Lord, uh, for those who are looking for that connection with others, that your spirit would guide them and lead them. So, Lord, uh, put us in the right positions, in the right places, whereby we might uh, position ourselves to make those connections, whereby we too can be strengthened with one another in this journey, brothers and sisters in Christ. It's in his name we pray. Amen. Well, goodness gracious, I uh, just want to uplift. We have our, our additional pastor who started this last week. That's Pastor Steve Qualbin. Uh, he has arrived. Uh, he is uh, in the office getting settled in. And um, we look forward to celebrating his installation service on the weekend of June, June 18 and 19. All three worship services here at Holy Ghost, 6 p.m. Saturday, 8 and 1030 on Sunday installation services of him. There will be a barbecue meal after the 1030 service that day. It happens to be a fundraiser for our high school seniors scholarships. And so there's a charge for that meal. But uh, you can do that drive through. But for uh, those who want to be a part of the, the sit down and the celebration with Pastor Steve and his family, we encourage you to come into the fellowship hall and be a part of that dine in meal. Also, just uplift, we have praise services upcoming this weekend. That's June 11th at 1030 and also June 19th. I said that wrong. June 12th, June 12th at 1030 and June 19th at 1030. Two praise service opportunities. Hey, check out our website, Holy Ghost Lutheran Church. Here we're here in Fredericksburg, Texas. I think it's holyghostfbg.org. You can check out extra information about the mission, ministries of the church there. And may the Lord bless you, keep you. May the Lord's face shine on you, be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with his favor, grant you his peace, his power, his presence, and always. Amen.